And we are back. Wouldn't you know it? Back live. Card Shop Eric here, live at Hall of Fame Baseball Cards in Arcadia, California, getting ready to execute our what we call the classic mixer group break. We got six boxes. Three Panini products, three Topps Baseball products. As you can see, Prism Chronicles and Optic Panini. We got Alan and Ginter Archives and Chrome on the top side here. Uh, we're going to get going in just a minute. Before we get into these boxes, let me just do some business for the participants. Thanks to everyone who jumped in. Let's do some quick, quick randomization. If you missed uh, getting in on this break, if you're watching but you missed getting into the, on this break, excuse me, um, you can join. We got some new breaks up on our website right now. You can join right now. Let me see. Nope, that's not the right. I was going to paste again, but I can't paste it. Maybe, Yama, you can paste that link uh, to our group breaks page. That'd be great. Or you guys can just visit us online, hofbc.com. You know where to find us. New breaks up today. Uh, some pretty cool ones, too. I'll let you discover those on your own. Let's switch over and do some randomizing, shan't we? Here's the list of participants in the order they bought in. We're going to randomize this list, but first we're going to roll the dice. Dice comes up with an 11. So we got 11 randomizations right here. So let's just get into it. There's one, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, super random on the names here, super random. So there's the 11th roll right there. Let me just quickly copy and paste those into our spreadsheet over here. There we go. And now here we have the list of MLB teams in alphabetical order as usual. Let's roll the dice one more time. See how many times we randomize that list. Uh, dice comes up a five, so it's a little bit shorter. I am thankful for that. Here we go. Five times, and this is going to do it. There's one, two, three, four, and the final roll. There it is. There's the final roll. Let me copy and paste this into the spreadsheet. Oops. Copy. And paste. That should do it right there. There's the final matchup right there. If you're participating, you can uh, screenshot that or just quickly write down or even remember uh, the team or teams you got matched up with. Uh, let's see. Jake hit the Dodgers. That's one of our local teams. I always like to see who got some of the locals. Angels went to uh, Sharon W. Uh, let's see. Kevin uh, Stern ended up with the Braves. I know, Kevin, you were hoping for... Who was he hoping for? The Diamondbacks? Yama? Yeah. He was hoping for the Diamondbacks. But you hit the Braves, Kevin. Not too bad. That's a great team to have. Uh, Alfonso got the Diamondbacks. Maybe you guys would want to trade. You're welcome to trade uh, in our trading group, if you like. HOFBC Trading Group on Facebook. So there's the matchups. Let's switch back to the main screen here. And... Get into this break, shall we? Uh, I'm seeing everybody popping into the group chat right now. Uh, I'm just going to start this big box of... Uh, oh, what do you guys think? Actually, before I do location shoutouts, let's take a vote. You guys watching, should we start with the Panini or should we start with Tops? I'll, and I'll probably alternate back and forth. What do you guys... Which side do you want to start with, Panini or Tops? Just real quick. Uh, anybody having any preferences right now? I didn't ask which product, I just asked which manufacturer. So let's see, one vote for Panini, one vote for Tops, 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 Panini, Panini. Uh, it's looking like it's about even right now. So I'm just going to get, this big box of Prism is just staring me in the face right now. So I'm just going to open this big box of Prism. And while I'm getting into this box, let's do some location shoutouts. We are located in Arcadia, California, but we like to know where you guys are watching for. Type your location into the group chat right now, and we'll give a few shout outs as they come in. For example, Michael in Ohio. Uh, also, Heron in New York City, of course. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Bibby in Georgia, and what's up, Cam Vett in Santa Monica, James in Phoenix. Uh, what's up, Andrew in Pomona. Uh, Noah in Chicago, we got uh, 
Uh, Alistair in Canada. What's up, Canada? What's up, Wento in New York? What's up, Brian S. in Iowa eating a wall burger? Uh, that's pretty cool. What's up, Dubbed Mods in North Louisiana? Uh, nice to have you guys. What's up, Chandler? Uh, what's up, uh, Matthews Coin in Boston? What's up, Johnny in Cincinnati? Uh, so a lot of people join us. Thanks for jumping in, everybody. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, like this video real quick. Let's see how many likes we can get during the live stream. Uh, just our personal challenge. And let's get into this mixer. We're going to see six different products right here from two different manufacturers. We're starting it off with Panini Prism. Three autographs per box. Let's see how it comes out. Got John Lester. Also, what's up to Jason in uh, the UK? Thanks for turning it, tuning in, Jason. John Lester and Justin Turner with Jose Altuve. Urias rookie. Uh, Rosario. Uh, then we go upside down. We got uh, Freddie Freeman on a little prism. As well as Dakota Hudson. We got maybe an autograph right here. Nope, just a backwards card. Miguel Sano. Uh, we got a little Mike Trout fireworks insert right there. And we got a Bryce Harper zebra parallel right there. Uh, Caleb Ferguson and Harold Castro right there. There we go. Bryce Harper's numbered out of 99. That's not too bad. 70 of 99 there. That's cool. And we continue on. So here we are, trying to find our rhythm here, get into a little swing. The Panini packs sometimes don't open very smoothly, and it makes it a little bit difficult to find the rhythm. But these are nice cards. I do like the prism. Very smooth, nice chrome technology. Marte, Sano, Merrifield, Machado, Mejia. Some more prism with uh, Taylor Ward. And Viloria, Lindor, a little blue parallel. We got uh, Aaron Judge on the stargazing insert there. Uh, Miles Michaelis right there. Perez and Longoria rounding out that pack. So no hits yet. I'm just going straight through the top of this uh, box right here. What's up, Soup? I see my boy Soup up in the chat. 1,000 likes, and I buy a box of 87 tops and eat all the gum in one sitting. <laughs> You mean 1,000 likes total on this video, no matter how long it takes, once this video hits 1,000 likes? Or do you mean during the live stream, which is probably what you mean? Uh, but I would love to see that. If we get 1,000 likes, Soup's going to eat, what is there, 36 packs? He's going to eat 36 sticks of gum from a box of 87 tops if we happen to get 1,000 likes on this video during the live stream. I think that's a pretty safe bet for you, Soup, considering uh, our record is 124. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, here we go. Bryce Wilson, Prism, Austin Meadows. We got Machado. We got Kluber, who's upside down. We got a backwards card behind Kluber. Also Bader and Peraza. Let's see if this backwards card is going to be signed. Yes, it is. Brandon Lowe is the first autograph. And the first team that hits is Tampa Bay. Uh, let's see who got matched up with Tampa Bay. I'm looking at the list. Nick P got matched up with Tampa Bay. So you get the first hit. Looks like it says blue, his signature. I'm guessing that's below, obviously. As in below me, Trebek. <laughs> if there's any vintage Saturday Night Live purveyors out there, if you remember the old... Uh, Old SNL Jeopardy skit. That's one of my favorites. But here's Brandon Lowe. Blue. Nick P, you get the first hit. Soup, I knew you would like that joke. <clears throat> Continuing on. We still got two more hits to find out of this first box. Here's Lindor. Gallo, Williams, Diaz, Bellinger. I usually uh, start skipping towards the middle. All the cards do ship in our breaks. Um, but we just there's just not enough time in the day to show every base card that comes out of every box. So we usually skip a lot of the base cards. We ship them out to you, and you guys can go through them in your own time. Here's Chris Davis, Illumination. Nice little insert there. Another backwards card coming out in front of Robles and Marte. Let's see if this backwards card is signed. Yes, it is. 
a name that I've not seen before, uh, not in too many products yet this year, Abiatal Avellino. That's uh, what I call a snakeskin parallel right there, which means it's numbered 9 out of 50, which is cool. And uh, going to San Francisco. So San Francisco Giants get the second hit, and that is Paul R. So Paul R., you get the second hit out of this break. Congrats to you, my man. Remains to be seen. What's up with Avellino? I haven't heard too much about him, but uh, hopefully he makes a name for himself. If he hasn't already. <clears throat> See, Richard Petty has joined us. What's up, Mr. Petty? Here's Herrera. By the way, Richard, you got matched up with the Cubs. Valdez, Kluber. There's the middle of the pack here. Start with some Nimmo. Uh, Betts. Another backwards card. I'm guessing this backwards card's not signed. No, it's just randomly backwards. There's Arenado. That's Soup's guy right there. Arenado, Lindor, Haas. Jeez, these are all mixed up. Andahar and Voth. We'll do one more autograph out of this box. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Springer, Wisdom, Smith, Straw, Bryant, Middle of the packs showing Yachty, Clemens, Danny Jansen, uh, and then we're going upside down again. We got Bregman Machines insert, backwards card, Baraki and Larkin. Does the backwards card have a signature? Yes, it does. Roselle Herrera. Roselle Herrera right here, and that's uh, showing Miami. So, uh, the Rays, the Giants, and the Marlins get the three autographs out of this box. Miami belongs to Brian L. So there you go, Brian. You got a little love in the first box. Let's see what else is uh, remaining in this box. We still got six packs to rip out of this box. And then five more boxes behind us. So we're just getting into the swing of things right now. If you're just joining us, thanks for joining us. Anybody who's watching out there, in YouTube land, we appreciate you joining us. Uh, if you haven't jumped into one of our breaks before, we got some new breaks we put up today on our website, hofbc.com. Here's Freddie Peralta, Newman, Joey Gallo. We got uh, Mookie Betts. We got a nice uh, soda pop gold, Salvador Perez right there. That's what we call those, the soda pop variations right there. This is numbered 135 out of 150 for Kansas City. Continuing on. Thanks for the drop in the links for me, Soup. Appreciate that, buddy. You guys can click those links that uh, Soup, a.k.a. Luis Valdez, dropped into the chat, and that'll take you straight to our group breaks page. Also, I should probably uh, do another reminder that uh, this Monday, this next Monday, we will not be doing personals. No personal breaks happening this Monday. Unfortunately, I will be out of town and will not be able to conduct personal breaks. However, we will be back the following Monday and I uh, hope to see you guys the following Monday. Here's Pujols, Red Parallel. We got uh, Ramirez. We got uh, Michael Kopech. Soda pop green right there. And you know what? Let's do a numbered card challenge. This card is numbered out of 199. Listen up. You get to pick a number. You guys watching, pick a number between 1 and 199. Only one guess per person or you're immediately disqualified. If you happen to guess the number exactly right, we will ship you a pack of prism on the house. You have 10 seconds to field your one guess. Go for it. Got Johnny Waldeck first up with 101 Dalmatians. I like that. Got about uh, seven seconds to guess. Six, five, four, three, two. It's a nice Michael Kopech card right here. I really like this card. Numbered out of 199. What do you guys think? Uh, the final guess, the cutoff. I always do a cutoff guess right before I reveal the number. Carson Kosaka, actually Shaggy, you're getting in. 
You got the final guess. The number is 85. Moderators help me check the chat. Did anybody say 85 right off the top? James says 82. That was pretty close. James, looks like you got closest without going over. But it doesn't look like anybody said 85. So nice try, everybody. It's a fun game to play, but it is hard to win. But uh, we'll, we'll try to play that game uh, a couple more times before the, before the break is over. I recently I had to trim my, th my thumbnails. I usually keep my thumbnails a little long so it helps me open up packs, but I trimmed them and I trimmed them a little too short. So opening up packs is a little more difficult with the shorty thumbnails. Let's just get right to the middle of this pack right here. I want to get rid of the base cards. Here's Reese McGuire, Prism, Justice Sheffield. We got uh, Justin Turner, backwards for no reason. Uh, Chapman insert, and hey, a little bonus hit. Bonus, all right, Scott Barlow. Kansas City getting some love here. That's uh, Sharon W. Um, so there we go, bonus hits out of Panini products or any products are always good. This is like a little green shimmer insert or something like that. Nice little rookie, Kansas City. Uh, numbered, woo, low numbered, four out of five. Low numbered, four out of five. Right there, that's a nice looking card. Scott Barlow, rookie autograph. Let me sleeve that up real quick. Congrats, Sharon, one of the first hits. You got the bonus hit out of this box, that's pretty sick. Definitely wasn't expecting that. James G is saying that this is a hot box with five autos. That'd be the first hot box on Prism that I would have seen. Let's see if that is true. Here's Trevor Richards, Urena, Garrett Cole. I hope it's true, just for everybody participating. Here's Joey Gallo. I like these inserts, Lumber Inc. Behind him, we have another backwards card. Is it signed? Yes, it is. Rowdy Tellez. So Toronto getting a little hint of some action here off the top. Rowdy Telez, autographed rookie. Toronto belongs to Sharon W. Sharon did get like three or four spots in this break. And uh, the more spots you buy, the more teams you get matched up with, and the more chances you have to hit and get your name shouted. So there you go, Sharon, two times in a row. Nice job. Thanks for jumping in. Two packs left, then we'll go on to some tops. Here's Matt Olson. Let's go to the middle of this pack. Just the middle. J.D. Martinez here. Willie Adames. Francisco Mejia. Uh, Christian Yelich. Man, bummer, bummer about Yelich and his injury, right? I guess that he fouled a, fouled a pitch off of his knee, and now he's out for... Yama, how long is he out for? He's out for the rest of the season? Wow, here's a nice Kevin Mitchell out of 199 right here. But, man, that is a bummer. Gosh, that, that kid's been so fun to watch all season long and actually his whole career. He's a great guy. It sucks to happen to anybody, but it sucks when it happens to the fan favorite, especially, you know, like that. And uh, he's been really, really driving the, the league this year with the home run race. And, gosh... That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Hope uh, Yelich, if Yelich ever happens to see this video, uh, get better, buddy. Sorry about your injury, man, but we're rooting for you here. Um, here's Mr. Wendell, yeah. Joey Wendell. We got another, woo, another autograph card. What? Out of the last pack. That makes one, two, three, four, five, six autographs in this box. That must be a hot box because it only uh, says three on average. Either a hot box or some kind of a um, printing error, but hey, Philadelphia loves it. Who's Philadelphia in this break? Philadelphia is owned by MFH. Michael Heron, this one's for you, buddy. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> Cam Vett says, Mr. Hot Hands has just witnessed some last pack mojo. Yeah, there we go. That was that was box mojo. Look at that. Six six cool autographs out of one box of Prism. First time I've seen that all season. Very nice. 
Uh, continuing on, I'm just going to go right here with this box of Tops, Allen, and Ginter after I take a sip of the last can of Moxie Soda here. James R., I'm not sure if you're in the group chat right now, but uh, cheers to you if you are. James R. from Maine sent us a case of Moxie Soda that we've been uh, drinking over the last few weeks sparingly. <clears throat> Some interesting stuff. I, I enjoy it. Moxie soda. All right. Alan and Ginter. Three stacks. Let's start by checking out the uh, oversized box loader card. Let's see what's up here. Not going to be autographed because it is a box loader for Angel Falls right here. Um, <clears throat> by the way, I just remembered that uh, Tops Allen and Ginter has the uh, the bonus cards in here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to, I'm just going to, when we're sorting all the cards, all the non-sports cards from the Allen and Ginter box, we're just going to pepper it over the whole collection. So. Uh, everybody hopefully will get a little taste of some non-sports cards. <clears throat> oh boy, excuse me for one second. All right, Allen and Ginter. Three hits per box. Autographs, relics, rip cards, printing plates, book cards, who knows. Uh... Uh, Soup's asking, what was the plane we saw last Thursday? You mean inside of the uh, Soarin' Over the World? You mean the plane that flew round trip around the world without refueling? Or which one? We, there was a ton of planes in that one little hallway. Thursday? What do you mean Thursday? I'm not sure what you're getting at, Soup. Is that what you mean? Disneyland? Uh... So I just kind of scroll past some Allen and Ginter cards. Just going to be looking for some hits, probably. Maybe anything in extra interesting that shows up. <clears throat> yeah, we saw a lot of different airplanes. And if you guys have ever been to California Adventure at Disney, and uh, you've waited in the line on the uh, Soaring Over the World, which used to be Soaring Over California, uh, the little, there's a little hallway that shows a bunch of cool photos of... Uh, of different uh, airplanes throughout the years, different uh, famous pilots like Chuck Yeager, who was the first to break the sound barrier in a in a in a jet plane. Um, and then it had uh, there was one specific photo on the wall that kind of reminded me of one of these little art cards from this set. Maybe that's soup what you're talking about because I did mention that while we were standing in line. Rutan model <laughs> What'd you say? That's the one that flew round trip. Yeah. <coughs> Rutan Model 76 flew round trip around the world without refueling, which was cool. <coughs> Braun, Snell, Scherzer, Stewart. Uh, here's the first hit right here. It's Ryan Braun. Ryan Braun, first hit coming out of here. And going to the Milwaukee Brew Crew which in this break belongs to Sharon W. So there you go, another hit for you, Sharon. Congrats. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, Soup, it'll be interesting to see if we get any of those uh, airplane art cards in here that, that uh, are the one that I was thinking of. <clears throat> Here's uh, Cespedes. By the way, I'd just like to point out Eddie Murray and his boss facial hair right there. That guy means business. Uh, nothing crazy in that pack. Here's a Kikuchi Rook belly. Looking out of it right there like he just woke up. I think he always looks like that. Chris Sale. Fine with me as long as he keeps hitting bombs. 
It was cool that the Dodgers clinched the NL West uh, this week. That's definitely cool. It's also cool that they uh, have broken a record or set a record for most home runs by a team in a season. Definitely cool. But let's go, boys in blue. It doesn't mean much without that bling. You know what I'm saying? Keep striving to the end. And uh, let's get that relief pitching ready for the postseason. <clears throat> David Dahl, here's uh, Pujols, Yelich, Conforto, and Griffey. <clears throat> Rodriguez, Hoskins, Turner, Dan Rather, right there. Dave Winfield. <clears throat> Carpenter, Hunter. What else has been happening in the world of sports? Of course, uh, Antonio Brown has been making headlines all week long. And uh, unfortunately, today it was alleged by somebody that uh, just some, some 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 stuff has occurred that he might have to hone up for. But you never know if any of that's you never know what's true. Um, it's always you know one person's word against another person's word, and uh, you never know. You never know. I wasn't there. And unless, uh, unless you were there or unless there's, uh, you know, conclusive evidence, you know, that proves without a doubt that's, uh, that something had happened, you know, it's just one word against another. Here's a Buster Posey relic right here. Uh, San Francisco getting some more love. Paul R. There you go, Paul R., who says, please no Antonio Brown talk. So it remains to be seen the future of Antonio Brown, but um, I'm betting the Patriots are kicking themselves in the pants right now for <laughs> taking him on and all the drama that comes with it, unfortunately. Uh, that's sometimes the risk with certain players. There is a lot of baggage that comes along with some of these players um, in all leagues, but it seems like more so in the NFL, unfortunately. Um <clears throat> what else? World of sports. Anything else going on in the world of sports? <clears throat> Here's Jeff Bagwell. It's a large goatee. Springer, Correa. <clears throat> Zobrist, Vasquez, Yelich, Votto. Contreras, there's another uh, art card with the uh, jet on the front there. That's a cool looking card. <clears throat> That's my boy Ricky on the front of this pack. Jackie Robinson, mini. Another cool, cool art card right there. Four packs left out of Allen and Ginter, and then we're going to switch back over to Panini Chronicles, one of my favorites. Well, Myers, Lester, Martinez, Wisdom, Cepeda. Blake says, I'm opening a box of 2019 Chrome as I'm watching the video. That sounds like fun. Hopefully, wink, wink, you got that box from us. But it's all right if you didn't. Hopefully, in the least, you supported some kind of a local card shop. Uh, but that aside, here's another hit. How about Reggie Jackson coming out right here with a little framed mini relic? Or mini framed relic, however you want to say it. Um, and it looks like angels. So the angels are getting a little love. Uh, that's uh, Sharon W. got matched up with the angels. So lucky for you, Sharon. Got a little, another little hit coming your way. I think that's like pff, at least two or three hits for Sharon. <clears throat> so right on. 
with two packs to spare out of this box. Betts, Price, Keller, Smith, Tiger Mask. <clears throat> Guriel Jr., Banks, Alonzo, Aguilar, Tuki Toussaint, Black Border Parallel, and uh, Art Card again. Didn't see the plane that I remember seeing in Line Soup, but uh, still some nice cards. I like these Art Cards. The History of Flight Cards. Orville Wright. Kitty Hawk New, North Carolina, excuse me. The Wright brothers sent the first airplane into the skies on a series of four brief flights on December 17, 1903. With Orville piloting and his brother Wilbur directing, Flyer achieved an altitude of 20 feet and covered 120 feet in 12 seconds on their first successful try for the breakthrough in air travel. Where would we be without airplane travel? That's a pretty big historic moment right there for the world. And that does it for Alan and Ginter. Coming up next, Panini Chronicles, one of my favorites, after a little sip of the moxie. All right. Here we go. Continuing on. Six packs out of this box. Four of them should have hits. Let's do this one on the bottom, just because it was kind of sticking to my finger there. Kopech. These are all upside down, right side up. I'll check out the first pack kind of slowly. There's Tatis Jr. Rookie. And then I'm not going to uh, bother too much with the right side uppedness of any of the cards. I'm just going to get to the hits. There's a Yusei Kikuchi rookie. There's an Ichiro card. We got a uh, Tatis Jr. little parallel, number 9 out of 75 right there. That's cool. Nice looking card there from Contenders Optic. And then we got... I think uh, some kind of a redemption right here. Let me check it out off camera to make sure I'm not going to do any spoilers. No, it looks pretty safe. <laughs> it's uh, Nick Senzel, who I believe is with the uh, Reds. Isn't that right? Yama? Uh, yeah. Senzel's with the Reds, correct, everybody? Uh, and the Reds belong to Stephen T right here. So Stephen T... You got yourself, say, uh, Chronicles Contenders Season Tickets Gold Autograph, I'm, a, I'm assuming. I'm going to write your name on that right now. Uh, Reds. Stephen T. Boom. There it is. Better than Panini Points. That's for sure. Let's go with this pack right in the middle. Soup's favorite NFL team is the Chiefs, I believe. Somebody's asking right there. I believe in that right, Soup? You're a Chiefs guy? Now here's Alonzo, rookie. Bryce Harper. And first autograph, Eric Haas. Right there. And that's looking like Cleveland. Soup is a Chiefs fan. Cleveland, in this break, belongs to Carson K. There you go, Carson. Right on. A little love for you, at least. Let's see what's on this top pack. Gotten two hits out of this box. We should get two more. If I can get it open. Cut my thumbnails too darn short. Uh, yes, there is a hit in this pack. Let's just go straight to it. It's right behind Scooter Jeanette here, and it is Joey Votto. So Cincinnati with some more love, a little dual relic, bat and jersey, 8 out of 25. <clears throat> Stephen T. once again. Decent card, Joey Votto, great player. Right on. There you go, Stephen. Let's see, should be three hits left. I'm not sure where it is, or 
excuse me, not three, but one. Unless something else happens. Let's see, this pack is holding a very thick card of Chris Bryant. Look at this card. This thing is thick as a brick right here. Spectra, numbered 48 out of 49 in the left-hand side there. 48 out of 49. Chicago Cubs belong to, who did I say? That's Richard Petty right there. So there's a nice little Spectra numbered card. And a couple Pete Alonzo rookies in here. Vlad rookie. Couple other cards in there, some base. There's Mike Trout. There's another uh, Spectra. And something behind Spectra. Keston Hura, Obsidian rookie. That's a nice card. Pete Alonzo rookie from Status and Brandon Lowe. And then we got something, something backwards behind this Garrett Hampson card. Let's see who it is. Ah, it's just a Mike Trout card backwards for no, no particular reason. Last pack in Chronicles, then we move on to Topps Archives. And this might be a, some kind of a cool hit in this pack, actually. Maybe a bonus? I'm thinking yes, I'm thinking bonus. <clears throat> so, let's see who it is. <laughs> and it's Garrett Hampson. <laughs> I want to talk to Hampson. 78 out of 99, the tiniest of on-card autos right there, but it's clean. And it's going to Colorado, Robert H. Robert H., a little love for you right there for Colorado. <clears throat> America's pastime is what the name of these cards are. Coming up next... Tops Archives. Uh, uh, just a quick heads up, Ivan, uh, Kevin, six nine, Ivan, just so you know, you timed out somebody, Kevin, nine, six nine oh, that's actually, uh, I'm not sure what was the offense but uh, he's a nice young man who's actually a local, and he is participating in this break. Um, or maybe when he comes back, uh, uh, you can just uh, let him know what the offense was and ask him politely not to do that again. But I can't imagine he would commit real cra any, any crazy offenses in our group chats. He's a nice kid. Here's Topps Archives with two autos per box and a lot of very fun, colorful cards featuring the 1958 Topps design like you see here. The 1975 Topps design like you see here. Uh, there's some Ichiro cards of different years up in here. And also featuring the uh, 1993 Topps design like you see here. Uh, let's see. Desmond, Castro, Kopech, Mathewson, Blackman, Kyle Wright, rookie, Ozzie Smith, and Noma. Uh, Shamanea, Molina, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Rookie. This is one of my favorite rookie cars of his this season. I love the 58 Tops design. Mike Trout magazine card. Soup's a fan of the 93 Tops design. There's a nice uh, Pete Alonzo rookie right there. Who got the Mets in this break? Bailey B. ended up with the Mets, so Bailey's getting all the uh, Alonzo rookies or autographs that might come out. Taiwan Walker, Bob Lemon, Max Kepler, Brandon Belt, Gallo, Alonzo again, Crawford and Sanchez. Uh, B 
Biggio, Kershaw, Keller, Ichiro. Ichiro again. Chris Bryant, Alex Bregman, and Jorge Polanco. Uh, no worries, Ivan. Pre appreciate the apologies, of course. But uh, for anyone who doesn't know, yes, uh, all the names in our group chat that are in blue with the little wrench next to it, those are not only friends of ours, but those are the people that moderate our group chats when we're live so that we can prevent people from spamming or prevent people from uh, selling or, or uh, any uh, obscenities, of course. And, uh, you know, most of our... Moderators don't know who you are by screen name usually, especially if you're new to the group chat. So they will moderate you and, and maybe just time you out if you're spamming too much or if you're typing gibberish or, you know, bad words or anything like that. Um, so just understand that. Uh, if Kevin's back in here, Kevin uh, Stern, that's the way it goes. Cam Vett says, God bless you, shop and the moderators. <clears throat> it's good to have moderators. Appreciate you guys helping out. Soup and uh, Ivan in here right now. Appreciate you guys' help. <clears throat> we can't do it all by ourselves. Family businesses are a team effort, people. That's for sure. It takes a team of people, family, friends, neighbors, to kind of help certain things get done at certain times. <clears throat> cool. Uh, this is an Andre Dawson card. I wish this was signed, but it's a green parallel. 50 years of the Expos. It's numbered uh, 52 of 99. Uh, Soup just dropped the link to our uh, breaks page on our website. If you guys are uh, interested in getting into our one of our next group breaks, click that link. Check out. There's uh, probably a, uh, a good handful of group breaks that are open right now. Here's a Lindor numbered uh, out of 175. But, yeah, you can get into one of our next group breaks by using that link and browsing around. We got a full case break of, of Bowman Chrome that still needs filling out. Uh, we've got a little premium group break. We've got uh, Tops Mixer and a Panini Mixer group break. Uh, some different price points up there. Uh, but, you know, you can pick one based on your desire or uh, your affordability, whatever you like. I don't think we've hit any autographs yet out of Topps Archives. We're supposed to hit two. I feel like one's going to be coming up soon. Where is it going to be? I certainly haven't seen any myself. Usually they're pretty obvious. Bowman Chrome releases next Wednesday, a one week from today. And uh, assuming that case break sells out, actually... I actually won't be able to do it on Wednesday because I won't be in town yet. So that break will have to happen on Thursday at the earliest. Which means I'll probably have to change what it says on the break webpage because I didn't uh, consider that when I was setting it up. But that break will happen as soon as it sells out after the product releases, of course, and Thursday at the earliest. Day after release because I, unfortunately, am going out of town for the uh, industry summit, I'm going to meet with uh, some manufacturers, some other hobby retailers, some breakers, um, some distributors. All sorts of people are going to convene at the industry summit in hopes of networking and uh, uh, drumming up conversation and just uh, doing things to better the hobby for everybody. Now that's a good Sunday morning. That's like three days. Three nights, four days. Duke Snyder here. 
Senzel, Snell, Hunter, and here's the first autograph. It's Mike Sweeney. Royals getting some more love. I think that was Sharon, wasn't it? Had the, yeah, Sharon W. Got matched with the Royals. So there's another one for you, Sharon. And that can also happen. You can buy multiple spots in a break, but then get matched up with teams that are coming out cold. But in this case, Sharon got matched up with some teams that are hitting. So she's got four or five hits already. Andrews, Renfro, Tucker, Anderson, Yelich, Trout. This is one of my favorite cards in the set right here. 58 tops, design, Mike Trout, All-Star. Should be one more autograph. Glaber, Seeger, Gwynn, Pettit, Duggar. It's not in that pack. Which pack do you think it's going to be in, folks? What do you think, left pack or right pack? This one looks a little suspect right here. It's got a little floppy at the top. Let's check this one out. Let's see. Rizzo, Trout, Judge, good pack so far. Fam. Oh, I think the autograph is behind Fam. It's a fan favorites. I'm seeing the word fan favorites right there. See that? Fan favorites right here by my left thumb. Let's see if we can guess. Slow reveal. So we got a hand. Anybody recognize that hand? <laughs> We got someone who's maybe not wearing a hat. He's got no hat on and, and not a ton of hair. Anybody recognize that face? I'm not recognizing it right now. Nose. Kind of looks like Ripken, but it's not. That was my first guess, but I don't think he has an autograph in here. It's broadcaster Jerry Remy. Broadcaster for the Red Sox. So while it may not be a player autograph, I guess it's a fan favorite of obviously uh, Red Sox people. Any Red Sox fans watching who have been to the stadium? Uh, I'm not sure if he's a stadium broadcaster or what. Let's see. Begin his playing career. Uh, let's see. He was an Angels second baseman starting in 75. Uh, traded to the Red Sox. Played for the Red Sox in the 78 season. 275 career hitter over 10 seasons. Not bad. Uh, transitioned into an even bigger star in the team's broadcast booth for over, over 30 years. Uh, diagnosed with cancer in 08. Uh, sounds like he is, uh, keep going. So he's up in the broadcast booth, which means he's either, uh, probably on the air, on the radio out there in Boston. But, uh, by the way, Red Sox belong to Justin J. So, Justin, this card's going to you, buddy, and it's numbered, uh, 36 of 150. Better than nothing, that's for sure. And last pack of archives showing Bo Jackson, Correa, DeGrom, Richie Ashburn, Ichiro, Kyle Tucker, and Johnny Mize. That's going to do it for archives. Coming up next, Panini Optic, and then Topps Chrome. I'm going to put that right here. Here's the optic coming first. All right. Optic is known to have hot boxes. Maybe with any luck, this will be a hot box. Hot boxes, normal boxes have two autographs per box on average. Hot boxes either have five autographs or 20 numbered parallels. So we'll see. Yeah, the Moxie Soda. Moxie soda right here, by the way. This is what I'm drinking right now. It's our last can of Moxie. Straight from Maine from uh, James R. Thanks again, James. All right. Let's see what's up with Optic. This is a group break, meaning... Uh, Everybody shares all six boxes, and they all got matched up with teams, and they get the cards from the teams they matched up with from all six boxes. So here's uh, Chris Davis, Matt Chapman, Christian Yelich, 
and Taylor Hearn. So, for example, whoever got matched up with the Oakland Athletics, which is uh, Robert H., Robert H. is going to get all the Oakland Athletics cards that come out of these six boxes, including these two in front. If you're interested in joining one of our group breaks, visit us online, hofbc.com. Jump in. We got breaks as low as $24.99 a spot right now. There's Rendon, Scooter Jennett, uh, Kopech, little refractor rookie there. And below, me Trebek. <laughs> so seriously, one of my favorite Saturday Night Live skits. Uh, who was that? Gosh, what's the name of that actor that used to play... Uh, Oh, man, Will Ferrell would obviously play Alex Trebek, but what was the name of the actor that would play Sean Connery uh, on Saturday Night Live back in the day? He was great. I forget. Uh, here's an Eloy Jimenez rookie right here. Chris Davis. Here's an orange uh, Ponce de Leon right here. Numbered 81 out of 99. Daryl Hammond, Jason Wento. Yes, I knew you would get that. That's the guy's name. He was brilliant, man. He did a great Sean Connery. Oh, oh. Just the way your mother likes it, Trebek. Oh, oh. <laughs> John Lester here. Jesus Aguilar. And Will Ferrell was just legendary. He would just, the way he, and he had that like mustache going on, you know, the way he would just look at the camera and be like, thank you, Mr. Connery. Moving on. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I'll take the rapist for a thousand. That's therapists. <laughs> uh. Goldschmidt, Hosmer, Kikuchi, rookie, and Yelich, Diamond Kings, right here. I'm getting sidetracked by movies again and shows. Daryl Hammond. Yeah, Daryl Hammond. Wento's saying he misses Phil Hartman. Yeah, Phil Hartman was a genius, man. He was great. He was one of my favorites for sure. Definitely missable. Christian Yelich right here. <laughs> I'll take S-words for a thousand. That's swords. <laughs> uh, everybody welcome uh, Michael Mondragon, Beer Baseball Blog, another friend and moderator. He's up in here. You have a chance check out his uh, YouTube channel he's doing some fun stuff he actually just filmed a little video uh, here at our shop that he recently posted of uh, himself opening up a box of tops luminaries which was pretty cool here's Griffin Canning on a uh, 150th anniversary rated rookie right here <clears throat> and this cards numbered let's do a little numbered card challenge for a pack of optic uh, pick a number between 1 and 150. Only one guess per person or you're immediately disqualified. If you guess the number exactly right, we'll ship you a pack of Optic on the house. Johnny Waldeck in first with 24. We got 10 seconds to guess. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And then, yes, Wento, we're going to talk about living in a van down by the river. 4, 3... Two, one. All right. The cutoff guess is <clears throat> Jeff Mc. Up, oh, King Petty got in with forty-three, and the card number is fifty-eight. Did anybody say fifty-eight? Anybody say fifty-eight? Does not look like it. What's the closest? Heron said forty-five. Ooh, Carson said 55. I think that's closest without going over. Nobody said 58. Nice try, everybody. Fun game to play. Tough to win, but it is fun. And uh, Ivan Arroyo with the $10 Super Chat just to guess 125. <laughs> Ivan, we salute you. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Walker Bueller, Trey Mancini. By the way, I don't think we've gotten any autographs yet out of the first half of this box, so we still have half a box to go. It's not looking like a hot box, so there should be two autographs somewhere 
in this stack of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Somebody pick a number 1 through 12. You got a 2 out of 12 chance of finding an autograph. Let's see if we can find an autograph. Cam Vett says 2. 2, 3, 4, 5. Waldeck says 5. Wento says 6, which I think was this one. So let's start with there. Let's we'll start with those. Let's see what 2, 5, and 6 out on the table. Let's see if there's any autographs here. David Bodie. Oh, hey, look at this. Hey, hey, wouldn't be a break this year without our boy SRF. SRF, buddy. Sean Reed Foley in a red uniform. This is a. This is a, like. Does Toronto have red, like. Practice unis, or what is that? What's the red uniform, Toronto? Maybe that's just a different picture or something that they used. Uh, by the way, Toronto belongs to somebody. Uh, Sharon W., of course. Sharon got four teams. She got matched up with the Blue Jays, the Brewers, the Angels, and the Royals. Not bad matchups. Getting some hits for sure. See what's in this next pack. Canada Day, people are saying. Mondragon and Soup both say Canada Day. Interesting. Why is it red though? Uh, their flags color, I guess. Red and white. Okay. Tyler O'Neill here, and then oh, uh, Jeff McNeil. There's a backwards card behind Tyler O'Neill. Is it signed? Sure enough. So packs two and five. Had the autographs. Cam Vett said two. I forget who said five. Definitely somebody. But Jacob Nick, San Diego, getting some love in this break. Renee R. matched up with the Padres. So Renee R., this card's going to be coming to you along with all the other San Diego Padres that come out of this break. Johnny Waldeck said five, apparently. All right. Nice job. Here's Conforto, Hernandez, Tatis Jr., peak performers insert right there. Those are fun cards. And Acuna Diamond Kings. So that should be both of our autographs. Let's see what else the rest of this box holds. Maybe a low-numbered parallel or something. Here's Gallo. Here is, whoa, how about a bonus? Dale Murphy, maybe it is a hot box. Maybe it is a hot box. This is a sick card right here. Wow, and that's on card, baby. Yeah. Actually, all the rest of these autos were on card as well. I forgot that uh, Optic included on card autographs this year, which is sick. Definitely awesome. Dale Murphy, man. Atlanta getting some love. Where's Kevin? That's Kevin, right? Kevin Stern. If you're still watching, I hope you're still watching. I hope the timeout didn't uh, send you away, Kevin. I hope you're still watching. This is a beautiful card. Dale Murphy is a uh, Atlanta legend. In fact, his son, whose first name I am blanking on right now, plays in the major leagues right now. But, Kevin, if you're still watching, which I hope you are, I hope you didn't get discouraged, uh, this card's going to you, buddy, and you should be stoked. It's a beautiful Dale Murphy MVP signatures card. Yeah. Yeah, boom. Boom machine activated right there. Look at his autograph, man. That's like, that's pretty classy right there. That's a heck of a signature. Can you imagine signing that however many times over? Beautiful card. Right on. Congrats, Kevin. Well, if this is a hot box, then let's see, we're due two more autographs in the next eight packs. Let's just see what happens. Wento says Murphy comes from a time when people wanted to read who signed it. Or more than that, maybe a time where people were taught proper penmanship. Yeah. yeah. A lot has changed since Dale Murphy played baseball, and it wasn't even that long ago. 
<clears throat> All right, uh, Merrifield, Marquez, Shohei, and Bregman. Decent pack there. I hope this is a hot box, and I hope we see two more autographs. Jose Ramirez. Ooh, Matt Carpenter, little numbered parallel there. Shohei Otani and Bryce Wilson. <laughs> they changed math. <laughs> Javier Baez, Jacob deGrom, Goldie, and Mike Trout there. By the way, we were going to talk about living in a van down by the river. One of Chris Farley's best characters on Saturday Night Live. Matt Foley was the character's name. I'll never forget that name as long as I live. I'm Matt Foley. Behind Yelich, there's a backwards card. Let's see if it's signed. Sure is. How about Ryan O'Hearn? So, hot box. Kansas City belongs to Sharon W. There you go. Sharon's loving the, the hot boxes from Panini today. She's hit extra cards. Extra autograph for Sharon. Not too shabby. <laughs> All right, Joey Votto, Bellinger, Betts, and Muncie. Two packs. If this is a hot box, there should be another autograph in, in one of these two packs. Let's see what's up. Oh, there's something here. There's something here. Hold on. I just want to re I just want to check that out last, just because. Let's see what's in this pack first. Cano, Perez, Joe Adele, Marte. All right. Should be an autograph here behind Otani, in front of Pujols and Dennis Santana. The autograph should be right here behind Otani. Let's flip it over. Ooh, beautiful. Kevin Newman. How about that's orange? I think that's an orange or a gold. I can't, it's hard to tell even in person. Orange or gold parallel. Kevin Newman rated rookie autograph. That's numbered 69 of 99 right there. Pittsburgh getting a little love in the last pack mojo here. Pittsburgh in this break belongs to MFH, Michael Heron. There you go. Not Mets, but still a cool looking card for sure. And uh, numbered 69 out of 99. That's pretty cool. Hey, thanks to Jackson Radcliffe. It says, I love you and your channel. Thanks, Jackson. Appreciate you tuning in, buddy. All right, last box in this six-box mixer is going to be Topps Chrome. Let's do it. Two Chrome Autos per box. Actually, going to leave this box up here so I have a little background. All right. Here we go. Uh, one, two, three, or four. Somebody pick a stack. One, back left. Two, back right. Three, or four. Cam Vett's saying three. We'll do three. Wento is next with a different number. He says four, so then we'll do four. Let's go with uh, Al. Says two, and then uh, Matt Zertucci. What's up, Addy? Card Shop Matt in the house. Everybody say what's up to Card Shop Matt. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Tops Chrome, last box. Rickard, Altuve, Peralta, Prism, and Kopech Rookie kicking us off on the last box. Uh, there's a Kyle Tucker blue wave right there number 26 out of 75 Kyle Tucker right there of 
quick reminder, if, you're, uh, if you have something to say and we're just not seeing your message, uh, consider using the Super Chat feature. You make a small donation and it highlights your chat super large in the group chat so that we can see what you have to say. Definitely with a one-man job here and focusing on cards, we do not get a chance to see every chat that comes through. So if you think you have something important to say, make it a Super Chat. All right, Cindergard, there's an autograph behind here, behind Kyle Wright. Let's see if we can figure it out. Angels. Angels is good. What are the odds that this could be a Mike Trout autograph right now? Odds are probably against us, to be honest. But what angel do you guys think this is going to be behind Kyle Wright? What do you guys think? <clears throat> Wento says Canning. Ivan says Otani. Two people say Canning. Two people say Otani's. Preston says Taylor, Zertucci, and Soup say Fletcher. Let's, let's see. Someone says Yama saying Ty Buttry. Let's just reveal the eyes. Let's reveal the eyes. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Does that look like Trout's eyes? No, no, no. It can't be. Uh, can't be, right? Can it? Oh, it is a rookie card. Duh. Duh. Well, who's it going to be? Let's see. Nose? Anybody recognize the nose? <laughs> oh. Hey, Yama. Yama got it right. Ty Buttry. He was pitching the other night versus Cleveland, huh? Got smoked. They lit him up. unfortunately for us in uh, L.A. here. But nice on-card rookie auto. Angels belong to, wouldn't you know it, Sharon W. There you go. <laughs> she got matched up with all the right teams for this break. That's going to happen. Congrats to you, Sharon. Wento says, good call, Yama. Seeger, mm, Otani and Nolan Ryan on the same ticket there. A nice card. Would love to see a dual autograph there. Bryant and Perez. All right, next pack coming up. Next stack, I should say. Stack of packs. Nick Birdie. <clears throat> Ivan Arroyo. Thanks, Ivan, for another $5 super chat. He says, Chris for the win. Three exclamation points. Appreciate you, Ivan, man. Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> well, first auto comes out of the first stack. I think Cam Vett said the first stack, which was three. <clears throat> this is our last box in this mixer. If you've uh, been watching kind of quietly in the scenes and uh, maybe you're interested in joining us for a group break and actually participating by... Uh, picking up a spot or two or, or ten, uh, you can click the link that uh, Luis Valdez just dropped. That'll take you to our group breaks page. And uh, there's got to be something for you there. we got four different breaks open right now. And we'd love to have you. And it looks like our second autograph is coming up behind Goldie. Let's try to play this guessing game again. I'm going to reveal from the top. Oh, is this, what is this, a catcher's mask? No? Yeah, yeah, definitely a rookie catcher. Dark blue. Hard to see. There's some eyes right there. Anybody recognize those, what look to be brown eyes? A dark blue catcher's mask. Wento says, the kid from the Rays. I like that. Here's the nose. Siufo. A lot of people are saying Siufo. I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce the name. I forget, but I think you're right. And there it is. There it is. Nicholas Siufo. That's how I'm pronouncing it. Nice little uh, curly signature there. Looks like it just flows pretty well. Tampa Bay getting some love. I think they got love in the first box. Now they're getting love in the last box. First and last. 
Let's see. Tampa Bay is uh, Nick P. There you go, Nick P. On card rookie auto. Good call to anybody who's, who guessed Siufo. Here's Dewell Lugo, Michaelis, uh, Aramis Garcia with a little Topps Chrome negative refractor. These are fun. These aren't numbered, but they're still kind of cool. All right, second to last stack here. Cabrera, Astudio, Kramer, and Arcia. Brinson, uh, Giolito on a prism, Anderson, and Alcantara. Whit Merrifield, Paul De Jong, Trout, and Toussaint. Blackman, Fam, Urena, Hudson. Aguilar. Longoria, Lourdes Guriel Jr., and Stroman. Heron is excited that the Mets have a 6 0 lead. Bottom of the second. Who are the Mets playing today, Heron? Sheffield, here's Kyle Wright, uh, Suarez, and Givens. O'Hearn, Bundy, Verlander, and Loriano. Simmons, Loriano, Peralta, and Giolito. Mets playing Arizona. Thank you, Theoden. Theoden. That sounds very Game of Thrones. Or, uh,. Lord of the Rings. Here's Kikuchi, rookie. Yes, isn't Theoden uh, one of the names of the characters from Lord of the Rings? I don't remember. Hendricks, Smoke, DeGrom, Snell. Erroneous Jackson. I don't even know what that means. Sanchez, Sale. Colby Allard and Josh Hader. Last pack right here, folks. Rogers, Hamilton, Scherzer, and Jake Cave. So that's going to do it. Uh, I'm not even going to do a full recap. I'm just going to show off uh, my favorite card from the break right here. Came from our hot box of Panini Optic. And it was uh, Kevin Stern's Dale Murphy autograph right here. So, Kevin, this card's going to you. And this is a beautiful card right here, man. Nice on-card autograph of a great, uh, great former player right there whose son is also currently in the league. Matt Sertucci saying two-time MVP. Boom. That's a nice card, Kevin. You'll, uh, you'll enjoy this one when you come to see that in person. So, yeah, everybody else watching, thanks for uh, tuning in right now. If you missed this break, visit us online, HalloFameBaseballCards.com. Get into one of our next breaks. we got four different breaks that are open right now, and we'd love to have you. Uh, middle of the week. We won't be back live until probably because I'm going to be out of town. Another quick reminder, personal breaks not happening this Monday because we're out of town at the industry conference. So we'll probably be back, hopefully, if you guys help us sell out Bowman Chrome, we will rip that case on Thursday, the day after I get back into town. There's no rest for the family business owners. So, yeah, thanks, everybody. Get into that Bowman Chrome. Let's sell that out. Let's rip that on Thursday. And I uh, hope you guys all have a good rest of the week and weekend. And we'll catch you all in about a week from now. Thanks to our moderators, everyone else, for tuning in, hitting that like button. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for being subscribed. Thanks especially to the people that bought in and participated in this break. We love you guys. 
We'll catch you soon. Peace.